Efficiency in progress is ours once more. Now that we're going to learn how to vectorize logos using the line tool in Adobe Illustrator. Um, today we're going to be vectorizing this logo. Um, you can look up Dead Kennedy's logo or DK logo on Google to find something similar. Uh, if you zoom in, it gets kind of grainy, and a lot of clients will ask you to vectorize their logos, if, especially if they don't have a, a vector of it. So this is an applicable skill that you can use in your graphic design profession. So let's get started. I'm just going to go to File, New. I'm going to type in DK logo for my name. Uh, for the width and the height, I'm going to choose 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. Uh, you can change your units here. Uh, everything else is pretty much default create. Okay, um, if you want your artboard and, and a workspace to look like mine, uh, you can just go to Window, Workspace, and hit Essentials Classic. I'm going to hit Reset, uh, just so um, this is what you're going to see if you do that. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and place my photo by going to File, Place. Uh, you can just download the same image off of Google. That's where I got it. I'm just going to click and drag it to kind of the center. Okay, um, I want to lock this here, so I'm going to go to Object, Lock, Selection, or you can hit Command-2 with this highlighted. And now I can't really move it around anywhere. Okay, so we're just going to use, uh, again, just the Line Segment tool. Um, it's kind of an underused tool. Um, if you double-click, um, make sure your the fill line is uh, checked off. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't really need any of these, but uh, yeah, just so you can see the options. Um, yeah. That's what they need to be. Um, and I don't want the uh, line segment to fill white. I just want kind of a pink stroke. So I'm just going to hit none on uh, on the fill and just highlight the stroke. And I'm just going to go to this magenta here. So now when I draw a line, yeah, it should look something, something like that. OK. So again, uh, yeah, we're, we're just using the line segment tool. Um, we're not going to worry about the shape. We'll do the circle at the end. But yeah, this uh, logo is just made from a lot of straight lines, uh, even though it looks kind of complicated. Um, so yeah, there is kind of a center. It's wanting to tell us the center's here. We're just going to draw it from the center of uh, the actual logo. And yeah, I'm just going to draw just kind of in the center of this black line that goes out there. Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, if you want to change it, you can go to the direct select. Can zoom in, highlight those. You'll see this one isn't highlighted now. And you can just use your arrow tool to move it around, or you can actually just click and just drag it around uh, anywhere. And that one um, in the center won't move. I pointed at my screen when I said that one. <laughs> Dummy. Um, so uh, yeah, we're just going to do that now that we have that there. Um, we're just going to draw like some of these straight lines down the center. Just gonna draw. Let's go to the top of that one. Strong. Just, just gonna hold shift, and yeah, just gonna go right through. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit so it intersects with that first line that we drew. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go back to the line segment tool. You can hit backslash on your keyboard just to do it quickly, and I'm just gonna draw. Yeah, that, and I'm just going to anchor it. You can see that little, like when you pull it, it just says uh, anchor. So yeah, we're just going to pull it just like that. Do the same over here. Actually, I lied. We're going to pull this all the way down, excuse me. So pull this all the way down because we want it to match that bottom line too. And don't worry about that little bit hanging over because we can fix that later. Now I'm just going to go to the selection tool and I'm just going to copy this line. So holding Option, you'll see this like double cursor come up. Now you can click and drag. That'll create a copy. I'm just going to hold Shift so it's easier to hold it uh, uh, directly parallel to where it came out. Pull it to about right there. That looks good. And now that we have these, um, we can kind of connect all of these together just still using the line segment tool. So we can go to the top. You see it says Anchor. Just click and drag. I'm just going to pull it to the top here until it says anchor. Then we're going to do the same to this side. And yeah, now we're just going to do this across the uh, the whole piece of art. So again, I'm just going to kind of intersect these 
pull that up there. There's a line that goes directly across the center. Just gonna pull that in. We've got this point here, just gonna pull it into the center. It kind of says intersect. That works. Pull this onto that one. Go across, pull this D shape. And yeah, as you can see, I'm just pulling like all of these into each other. I'm starting from like an outer point and just pulling it in. So instead of just starting from the anchor on all of those, just kind of anchoring it to those paths that I'd already drawn from the center. Again, let's just connect those. Pull it from this one now. Pull that. Kind of hits that path. And pull the center one all the way to these. And yeah, I can kind of just pull the corners to make that little beveled uh, like sword shape and do it down here. Do those pretty quick. Just think I just have my, my D shape left. It's okay, it's a little bit off there. Those shapes are gonna gonna meet, so kind of making it just a little more symmetrical. Pull this to the center. Yeah, just don't forget these like uh, kind of beveled areas here. Pull that one up a little bit better. Okay, um, I might have missed one in there. Let's. I'm gonna look at it real quick. I think we got them. It might be, let me take away this shape. So go to object. We're going to unlock that back shape. Just going to drag it off here using the selection tool. I'm just going to look at, look at them, kind of compare them real quick. I think I got all of my bevels. It looks pretty good. There's a couple of spots like these straight lines that we have to take out. That's okay. Um, forgot one line here. This one we're not going to worry about, but... We are going to pull this one into there. Because, yeah, we need this bevel uh, to change. But this actually is one black shape, so we're not going to worry about that one. Um, everything else, I think, is correct. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the Shape Builder tool to kind of build this out. So just highlight everything and go here to the Shape Builder tool, or you can hit Shift-M. And now when you click it, when you hover it, you'll see these kind of, like, different like a like dotted shapes this like half tone pattern um, so yeah over here now what we're gonna do is just we're gonna hit black and we're gonna fill in all the black areas uh, kind of goes all it goes too much there so we gotta fix something looks like okay it looks like this didn't get pulled all the way so let's just go back out now we can click this anchor. We can just pull it all the way out like that. That looks good. Now selecting everything again. Go back to the shape builder. Okay, now those are selected. Let's go back to black. Change that to none. And yeah, it's gonna fill in these areas. Yeah, with black as needed. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, we actually, we don't need some of these like pink shapes here. So just hold option and you'll see that minus and you can take away those pink shapes or pink lines that we don't need. Just like that. There it is, that looks better. Now still, we're still in Shape Builder, so just go to white, 
We can fill in these areas with white. Oh, I still see some lines here that we don't need. Thought I got them. Anyway, there we go. May have hit some of these already, but we'll just go back around. Okay, now when we pull this out, kind of see it. Uh, like we can change uh, the stroke to black instead of that pink. Okay, see a couple of little areas that we still need to shape build out. Just hitting these lines here that we see don't need to be there. I think that's all of them. Okay, yeah, now the, now we have like pretty much the uh, the outline that we want. Let's go ahead and group that. I'm just gonna pull it into the center of our artboard. And yeah, I'm gonna just quickly create this circle, just hitting the ellipse tool. I'm just gonna draw it. Yeah, I'll draw it a little bit bigger. We'll just hit this uh this nice red here. Take that stroke off. Let's just hit the align uh, panel to go to the center. Then we'll go to object, arrange, send to back. A little off center, so let's just pull it manually. Just kind of get it right. I think that looks good there. So yeah, um, that's the DK logo. Now you know. Now it's a it's a nice vector. Um, we could expand that shape. Uh, we could play around with the strokes a little bit too if we wanted. Um, yeah, or we could just play around. You know, make our own versions of the logo. Um, do all types of cool stuff. You know, you want to do like a Pride Month like a uh, DK logo. Just go to gradients, spectrums. Yeah, you know, do fun stuff like that. I I don't think Jello would be against anything like that. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use the line tool to make uh, some some quick clean vectors. Um, and yeah, like especially with like straight lined logos like this, you know, you can um, you know recreate those in Illustrator and you know make some money with people because a lot of people need vectorized logos because they'll make crappy JPEGs and use that for the rest of their life. But you know we're better than that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know uh, in the comments other tutorials that you'd like to see or any other logos you'd like to see me make. Um, yeah, thanks for the support, everyone. All right, bye.